In the last few days, the skies over southwest England have been buzzing with the comings and goings of global leaders in Cornwall for the G7 summit. But there's been one foreign visit visitor who was not on the guest list, but is welcome nonetheless. John Kay reports. Well, it's not a plane, but what kind of bird is it? High above the Isles of Scilly. Some thought it was an eagle, an osprey, maybe a stork. I mean, I just sort of glanced up and said, oh, there's an Egyptian vulture up there. I mean, it was, uh, it was uh, Will Wagstaff so, taking visitors on a wildlife tour like who it. then spotted the bird in a pine tree on the island of Tresco, more than 2,000 miles from home. I was surprisingly calm and didn't swear, which in retrospect is a bit surprising because, you know, to see a bird that rare, big wing thing like many big birds of prey, that typical sort of rather pointy vulture face. And with these, they have a yellow face uh, and they have this sort of rather punky looking hairdo. Think sort of Billy Idol, sort of 1970s. Where does this rate on your bird watching experiences? It was just one of those, you know, sort of am I dreaming moments to look up and suddenly realise you're being watched by an Egyptian vulture. No one has identi you know, seen and identified in Britain for over 150 years, as it turns out. Yeah, it's just an amazing experience. Bird watchers are so excited they've been renting boats and racing 25 miles from Cornwall to the Isles of Scilly, even though the vulture still hasn't been officially verified. Experts reckon the bird got lost while migrating and could vanish as suddenly as he arrived. John Kay, BBC News.